What's good, y'all? Live on KXP. Lace Cadence here representing Overnight Afro Beats. Very special treat for y'all. We got the band live from Nigeria. Y'all take it away. La la la, la la la, fa la la. Mm. No baton, otitan, le wevitan, shotan. Leave your life stress free now. Babe, what is the go, 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 go? I said, now leave your life stress free now. Feel it. Let me talk to you, Japan. Okay, look into my boss. My eye boss. Tell me what you see. So let me tell you what's up. Keep it going, we don't stop. Keep it going, we never stop. Say you wanna get high. I can take you to the top. Stress free, this goes back. This goes Skip and language make a press call me importer export. Okay. Again, we're locked in live on KEXP. The bands, let's get it to cover me. I cover you. Take it away. Sometimes when I look in the mirror, I see two men Can't tell where the old me ends and the new begins When I start to find myself, I lost some friends But I know I gotta let go in order for me to grow Fa la 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 Ah yeah oh Fa la 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 Ah yeah oh Me, I cover you, you cover me, I got you. Oh, shake cover me, I cover you, you cover me, 
I touch you, oh shit, cover me. I cover you, you cover me. I touch you, oh shit, cover me. I cover you, you cover me. I touch you. You, you cover me, I got you, oh shit, cover me, I cover you, you cover me, I got you, oh shit, cover me, I cover you, you cover me, I got you, oh shit, cover me, I cover you, you cover me, I got you. Come on, 
Now you must eat the next to come from Go to Tonta Go to Tonta Go to Tonta Look at I'm liking what I'm hearing right now. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Listen, we on KEXP. Life, life on KEXP right about now. And I'm visualizing something. I need one on my left. I know one on my right. I got one on my left. I know one on my right. I got one on my left. I see one. one big bum bum. Right. One on my. Do you see the big bum bum on my left? I see one on my left right now. I see one on my left. And one, one on my right. right. I see one on my left. Kill us all. One on my right. right. Let's go. Shake your bum bum. Shake your bum bum. Shake your bum bum. Bum bum. You must have. Shake your bum bum. We got the bands all the way from Nigeria, so we're going to end the set out with Welcome to Lagos, live on KEXP. Take it away, boys. Yeah, we have to welcome you to the Lagos for those of you, you know. Uh, we said Lagos. Hmm. Lagos is not a destination, it's a state of mind. So we're in Lagos right now, so welcome to Lagos. Color response, let's go. I got me focus, 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 focus. You know about me sharp. I got me focus. This is Lagos, let's go. Baga Bangali. It is real. If you know anybody, you still with me now. Welcome to Lagos, Lagos. Where everybody famous, famous. Love us step before you love your neighbors. Nobody owe you favor. Now I just do the leg war. Who ya go say wanna do the leg war? Who ya make they keep you in for air force? In Lagos, cake war, cake war. Who did me cake, pink, pink, honey? Who want me cake, pink, pink, pink? All I me cake, pink, pink, pink. And me get she cool it by le, le, le. Ha. Who did me cake, pink, pink, honey? Ha. Who want me cake, pink, pink, honey? Eh. All I me cake, pink, pink, honey. And me get she cool it by. You say nah, I'm just a man I come from Lagos Where we've seen the most But we still the gold yeah. What? I'm about to shine I'm about to focus I'm about to shine your light It's not Lagos Verse 2, listen Hold your neighbor Tell her make her do your little favor your behavior. Behavior. Say this is what is the night division of labor. When you're the sun, make a big deal. Make you get down, make a big deal. To the cake walk, make a big deal. Sample, a crayo. When you're the sun, make a big deal. Make you get down, make a big deal. To the cake walk, make a big deal. Sample, you know you say you do it like this. Oh, you make big, 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 big. Oh, you make big, 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 big. Let me kick, 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 kick And you get she cool the band, lay, lay, lay Oh, let me kick, 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 honey Oh, let me kick, 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 honey Oh, let me kick, 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 honey And you get she cool the band, lay, lay I'm just a man I come from Lagos Where we sing the most But we still the good Whoa, hey, hey, go Oh, Bobby Sean Focus. Shine your light, it's not Lagos I'm just a man I come from Lagos Where we stand the most And we still the good Lagos Jack Barata, oh yeah Eh, my jungle, my jungle Eh, my jungle, my jungle Madame, 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 Madame,
Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. I must greet you all specially. The bands, the bands, my brother. My man. Oh, live on KEXP. What a pleasure. Thank Great you. job, Thank man. You. That was fire. Live on KEXP, the bench. <laughs> brother, we need you at the mic. <laughs> I'm going to interview you. Yes, feel free to interview me. Okay, we live on KEXP. We What's just had a live performance. My brother, the band's all the way from Nigeria. The how you feeling, brother? Mm. I'm feeling great, 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 ladies. Nice to see you again. I, I really, must greet really, you specially. Really appreciate you being here, brother. <laughs> thank you, thank you. What brought you here actually was Madaraka. Yeah, so I'm Madaraka like Festival. We could touch on that first. Just tell us about your experience, your Seattle experience. How oh was the show? God. Beautiful. Listen, first of all, it was so... Oof, so beautiful. It was... Beautiful setting for the show, too. I, I, I was talking right now, and I was seeing the view <laughs> exactly. from Pier 62, and I saw the water, the waterfront. It was such an amazing, was an amazing environment. The energy was so right. And then more importantly, having so many uh, people come together just to celebrate Africa. Mm. Um, in different ways. I'm talking about culture. I saw right. so many fashion wears. I saw so many people that, you know, that invested their lives into making sure that, you know, growth comes out of Africa. So that no for doubt. me is, was one of the most exciting things. And then of course, <coughs> uh, the fans, yeah, the no, coconuts. I was, I was very impressed with how they, they were ready for you. They were ready. Yeah. You saw that, right? They were so ready. I couldn't even say nothing else. I couldn't expect nothing else. Um, I was humbled, actually. I was super, super humbled. Um, expected. I enjoyed some of the performances as well that came. There was you know. a lot of dope artists yeah, there. Yeah, 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 yeah. And a lot of them, like Miko. Miko was great. Right. Uh, Chicky Cheesy was great as well. I yeah. saw yeah. Uh, Naomi was great as well. And I saw from Cameroon. So it was a bunch of different people from Africa coming together to celebrate. And and and, and it was it was a great experience. Thank you for being here. It was dope. Thank you. Thank you to Simon. Well done to Simon. Of course. Big shout out um, to Simon, man. Big shout out to listen to what Simon is doing. It's important. Uh, it's it's so great. And and for me, when I heard about it from I, I first got put on to him mm. um by dj freddy did right. you shout out to dj freddy as well freddy's here too shout yeah, out freddy and, and 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 i saw the walks that he's been doing in africa mm -hmm. specifically in east africa you know with you know how building studios and trying to you know just a lot of work every, in everything to do yeah. thank you to eradicate yeah. poverty you know and for me I, I was excited that's the kind of partnership i want to do now so no doubt. coming to seattle i've been to seattle once before but before then the only time i know of seattle is in the movie sleepless seattle <laughs> So you, I came here and trust me. You said it yesterday. The crowd was like, oh, he did it. Yes, I did. He did it. Yeah. I did. <laughs> you couldn't help yourself. But trust me, it was such a beautiful... And the weather is beautiful as yeah, well. Yeah, it wasn't... It's not rainy and sleepless. You see No, it, no, it, it's, it's not. Active. The sun is there. Everything I'm just is saying. There. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just saying. Okay, well, it was really dope to have you here, for sure. Thank you. I um, had mad fun. So I just want to touch a little bit on your journey. Because oh. any of my listeners of my show... They're going to be pumped to see that I'm speaking with you. They're right. going to know the journey. But a lot of the KEXP listeners, they're not too hip to Afrobeat. They're not, you know. So you're one of the pioneers of the, of the whole genre. Yes, sir. So I just, I'm curious what it's been like for you to see the progression from your era to what it is now. All these young cats are really doing well. And it's, it's based pretty much off what you and a few other people did, in my opinion. So I'm just curious, what, if, what's your take on it? It's a beautiful journey. Um, to be alive at such a time, it's what we've preached. Right. And I keep telling people that we've not even started. We've not- It's still the baby phase. It's still, still the baby phase. And, what, and, and I was privileged to be one of the very first few, you know, to have that opportunity to tr break the door there. And it was such a hard thing to do mm. alone, but you can see collectively now is a movement. No doubt. And, and I always tell people that from day one, what we preached was beyond the music. It was the culture. If it's you see why Afrobeats is all big based today, off the culture, is based off the culture. So it's the fashion, is the food, is the lifestyle. You get a full package with you it. You get a full. <laughs> 
Yo, you already know. Have you been to Nigeria before? I haven't. Oh I've been my to Senegal God. many times, but I, I, I need okay. to move, I need to get down there. And I see you wearing a Cameroon uh, jersey. I have to rep for Freddie. You know what okay, I mean? Okay, okay. I yeah. see. We got to take you to Nigeria. No you know? doubt. Well, next time I touch over there, you're going to get a call from me. No, say no more because that's what we do. <laughs> so it's more of, like I said to you, so it's such a beautiful time, you know, and I think that it's just the beginning. It really is. And, and we just have to make sure that we embrace every platform out there no doubt. that can showcase more. And I think that's what the kids now have. You know, there's yeah. social media, there's yeah. TikTok. There's this, so they have a lot of ways to get it out there, but we still need more, especially coming from where we're coming from. We're almost a billion people in Africa. And I'm so happy that now the world is catching up, but this is us. This is what we've been. This they're is behind, but they're do. starting to catch up. Yeah, they're, they're catching up now. No they're question. Catching up. No question. Okay, so that's a dope answer. Thank you for that. Also, a few people when I talked to, I told them that you were coming in, they said you got to bring up the connection with Don Jazzy because Don the Jazzy's Jazzy. behind a lot of stuff with the young kids now. He's yes. still, I mean, you know, Maven's really successful. He's still doing his thing. Yes, Don Jazzy. But he also helped you get your start. Um, yeah, we met Don Jazzy in London mm. and then we, we became partners right. and we came back to Africa. So we see. So like you a, met in London. Yes, we met. Started in working London. together. Yes. And then went back home. And then went back to Nigeria. This so we see like a prophet. 2004, 2005 ish. To be specific, we, we went back 2004. That's a good guess. Um, and, that, and, that's, mm, and so we had the first break uh, concert in London 2004, Independence Day. I believe. Okay. Yes. Okay. And then we flew right after that because we had such a great, you know, review. And you guys worked on a song, like one of oh your first God. songs. You Everything. shot the video for Listen. it and then... No, no, no. We did the whole album in like two or three weeks oh. and then went back on... Um, with, we're so hyped up uh, okay, okay. and then we got back home and then we dropped the first single I think it was December 2004 right and then by oof, by March yeah March 25th 2005 we dropped the first album mm. yeah. so this gives people an idea of how long you have been honing your craft oh yeah how uh, long you can you call me like this? an ancestor <laughs> in the industry and, and and I just love it because and and it's what we've always wanted like we always knew that I always said something from day one that content is the new crude. No, it and is. And growing up in Africa, we were told, or we, you know, what we knew is that we had so much natural resources, mm. from crude oil to gas to whatever, cocoa and all. But all part issue, of the culture. You have to export. Mm. You know, and in order to export this product, importer, you have to import. <laughs> no, no, you have to. <laughs> it's an right. exporter. You I have can to help actually. It. You have to just like just like crude oil. Mm. You know, crude oil has to be refined mm. in order to get to you know kerosene, gas, vaseline, and coal. Same thing with the creative sector. It's very. You know, similar. we are so so blessed in Africa, and you know, this is from God. You natural resources. God has given us so much, but we need to refine. Mm. You know what we have in order to take it to the next level. And I think that's what I see happening more and more with the young kids. With Agreed. The first question you asked me is because a lot of them are now ready to even do what we were saying, ready to go out there and learn, ready to go out there and risk it all yeah. and get it out there. So we need, yeah. we need, we need more. And the future is just, it's just it's, this. content ooh. is the new crude. I like it. Another thing I noticed at Banj too that I like about the Young Bucks is that there's a lot of cultural aspects that they still get into the music. You know what I mean? And they always pay, I feel like the Young Bucks these days pay respects to a lot of the OGs too. There's not like a, oh, those are the old guys. It's more <laughs> of a respect vibe with the young kids and the new and the way older cats. You know what I mean? Like even like I'm talking like Fela, like they're people are always showing respects to the OGs, the young bucks. And I like that. I think there's not there's a connection between the cultural and like the deep aspect of Afrobeats and the young bucks aren't losing sight of that, which is dope to me. I I, I think it's everything with us generally also mm -hmm. and and with our upbringing. You know, it's been you know, no one thought us we had to learn out there, we had to look and it was so hard. And I think one thing the kids now have seen is until you start the journey, you don't really know how it's easy for you to talk. Is this, but once you start the journey, you now really understand right. how much goes into it. And then you appreciate the industry, appreciate the craft. And, and, I, just, and I just think that is the best way to grow also. And, and for us, like that's how we, we said in the culture, you said, it's in tradition, we respect our elders. It's that's just, it's just I normal, always love so. that. I always love that. It's just a part of it's part of the culture, but I like that the young bucks don't lose sight of that. No, you know no, what I mean? That's, I think that's very that's that's very important. And likewise, uh, I think I think respect is it's both ways. Yeah, because it really we respect is. them as well. Because if, if they're, they're taking it, it's like a, it, I always say that in this life, 
you you make it by grace. Some people say we're all in a race, mm. but if you were to add G to it, you are, if you have grace, then very few people now attain. So it's very important for you to appreciate mm. and also respect it. And, I, and I'm just I'm so proud of every one of them. If you were to tell me to mention names now, I would. Oh, we could go on forever. Yeah. Oh, yes. Oh, my goodness. And I see them like my, like my mini-me's out there. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I've I'm, seen a few I'm myself. Like a pro, you said, and, I'm, and I'm such like a proud father. Like, yeah. And I'm like, geez. You should be exactly happy. What, yeah. This is exactly what we wanted. And it's just the beginning. Now, the next phase is you're going to see what's going to happen now. It's going to be like a takeover. Uh. And you know, you know we when we are I'm here, already we are seeing to stay. it. Yeah. <laughs> no doubt, no doubt. Okay, so before we get up out of here, there's a couple more things I want to ask you. You do have a new album on the way. Yes, uh, yes. you had that. You had it's, it's the stress free joint. Yes, it's a stress free. So it's like a deluxe. The the stress free chapter one okay. came out ending of last year, and then, but the then other... cover me is from chapter two. Okay, and that's where you hit. And so for me, um, it's a whole body of work that I want to put out there to let people know the other part of me okay so, so i'm excited about that august 26 correct august 26 yes yes, yes, yes. yes. congratulations i cover you you cover me i see you cover me everybody <laughs> needs to cover me <laughs> no doubt i'm covered I You're co good. <laughs> <laughs> um and one more thing that i didn't want to let you talk about before we get out of here is a new platform that you came up with because i was dope i didn't know you were doing that oh wow well, so please great. discuss that real quick because that's very important for what we're kind of discussing here Oh uh, yes, actually, Platforms. I love I love this because um, this is exactly like one of the visions that we have. So yeah. about five years ago, we launched a digital platform okay. um, called Cream. Cream, like a cream you use. Uh, right. C's but for I know creative. it stands for something. Yeah, break that down. <laughs> break that down. C is for creative. Right. R is reality. Okay. E, entertainment, arts, and music. Fire. And so this is like, a, we call it the gateway platform to the Africa hub to the okay. creative mind. Okay. Because with the expansion and the amount of talents that we've discovered in the industry, I thought to myself that, listen, we should have such a platform where we can access services across the world mm. and give them such services. So I'm talking about if you wanted to get distribution, if right. you wanted to get publishing, right. you, especially now that the Afrobits is becoming so big, um, there's a part of it in the Cream Institute where we also do training for mm. the kids. Uh, we have about 6 million subscribers My since goodness. we started. And it's, um, it's, it's just a dream come through that we need. We know that imagine when we have such partnerships with KEXP where talents from Africa can come and have sessions just like these right. and they can get there through the cream platform because trust me people will love to have that and i love to some hear don't this even know how to get this some just watch on tv some here some don't even know how to get the music out there's some that know one the most important thing which is financing marketing mm. so you know with, with no matter how great the content is if you don't have marketing that's what's important time. about i feel like that's one of the most important things about that what is. you're doing here is help you're you're because all the game you've soaked up over time that's one thing I noticed lacking in the Afrobeat industry is like in the in the industry is kind of like the structure of people not having access to any pipelines. You know what I mean? Thank you. So I really respect that you're doing that to try to open that up to that people that need, need help. And, and, I'm, and, I'm, and, I'm, and I must I must greet you especially also for what you guys are doing and embracing it because no doubt that's the only way we've been knocking on the door forever. Like you said, you said the, it's not new. Oliver Twist is ten years this that's year. Crazy. Know? That's the first uh, Afro Afro Beats record. How many Afro views has that video racked up? Oh no, nothing. That's I'm what, asking you. Oh, what? What does Oliver I Twist check. even Last have? Last I checked, I think it was about sixty million. It's a. It's got but, a lot. Oh yeah, um, but, and that was in the era just before social media that's what i'm saying digital came in i think before streaming came in so now I, I think some people were telling me i have to put out like a greatest something like a remix and put it out <laughs> it might move. not be a now, bad idea mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> and maybe i'll get some of this my children now they'll just do like <laughs> remix <laughs> and they will oh. push it out and yeah, come yeah. out no but it's so great and i, I want to also say to you guys that i i see that now that i'm here a lot of people also want to learn about the culture they do i'm talking about Afri african americans i'm talking about americans generally straight and, up and and yeah. i get people speaking to me and say listen we would like to produce in this we would like to learn how to properly do afrobeats i feel like there is a lot more interest in this yeah and i think the music is what's sparking it Straight the music, up. and then also there's going to be so much story. I think one thing that people need to learn more, which which we are doing now, is to tell our own stories. Right. Because people now are hearing about it, but they don't know the stories. Like, you know my story, but, but for people out there that didn't know, oh my God, how did he do it? Right. What year did he come through? When did he do it? And this? the so, story behind a lot of it is really interesting. Very. Oh, listen. And it's, it's not like, like... It's like a Netflix That's special. what I'm saying. It's Amazon like, something. <laughs> I'm telling you. Listen, they should look. Which I, you probably got some... I know you do have it, something on it. 
Yeah, okay, okay, excuse me. Excuse me. You we'll are not that. gonna be a prophet. True, true. <laughs> but it's so important to tell the story so people can learn about the culture. It is. You know, Fela is, uh, Fela is one of the greatest and is respected today because they were able no to doubt. tell that story, they were able to put it together and then preach it out there. And that's that's what that's what I think is gonna be the next phase for us now. I love it, man. Thank you so much for coming. Thank you, man. my brother. Thank what, you. What 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 an honor, really. No, no, no. Thank really. you, my brother. For real. I, I, I must I must take you to Nigeria. West Trust Africa. me, I'm gonna I'm gonna hold you to that one. Trust yes, me. Yes, Madaraka. Madaraka, <laughs> please get it on standby. We're taking lace to where oh, to Oh man, Africa. if I touch Nigeria with you, trust me, I, that's the only way I'd probably want to do it now. <laughs> yeah. So and I'm gonna hold you, you to that one. You have no problem. I I, I, I just uh, are you married? No. Okay, that means that you might just remain. Don't there. get me in trouble. <laughs> I'm sure we'll open a <laughs> KEXP <laughs> oh, franchise man. in Nigeria. You remain there. <laughs> it's the bad. See, I wasn't supposed to be laughing this much. The <sighs> bad, bro. Yes, thank you so brother. much for coming through. All thank the way you from so Nigeria, much. man. We Respect. appreciate you, brother. I'm the man. Oskiban, like my Jamaican friends call me. Capella, like my South Africans call me. Mensa, like my Ghanaians call me. Free K, like my librarians call me. Usinawata Burogare One. Importer. Export. I must greet you all specially. It's KXP live, the band. We out of here. Thank y'all. Discover new music at kexp.org.